Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll apply the concepts we learned on brushed points to remove the rows corresponding to the data under the brush. So if you see the graph here, it's a ggplot box plot and the points in red shows that it's an outlier. And so if I if I select this data point, it should be removed from the data. Below here, you can see that we have got two data tables on the left hand side. It's the actual empty cars data set. And on the right hand side, we have got the updated data set. Initially, when no data point is selected by the brush, you can see all the selected underscore column values are false. So what happens when we select the data point? When we select the data point, the row corresponding to that particular data point or the rows corresponding to the data points gets the status as true. And the way I have put the logic is out of the updated data set or the data which has the selected column values as false and true, I only take the rows which has selected underscore as false. So if I select this data point, it should remove the row entries corresponding to that data point. And you can see that one of the row is removed. Obviously that would have had the status as true and we only are subsetting the data or, or the rows having selected underscore status as false. Let's select another one. So in this case, I've got this data point. And if I select on this, we should have this data point or row corresponding to this data point removed. Now we can see that two rows have been removed already. Let's go to RStudio and check out the code. We'll start with loading the required packages. Load the Shiny and ggplot2 packages. In the UI section, got some heading, got the plot output, and we're using the brush argument, I'm giving the brush ID. It's plot underscore brush underscore. As you recall, this ID can be used to retrieve the data points information from brush. Then I've got the fixed row. I've got two columns. The first column has the uh, shows the data, empty cars data set, original data set. Second column has got data table, which is updated, having only rows with status selected underscore equals false. In the server code section, I've got empty cars data set, assigning it to empty cars one, and then uh, converting the cylinder variable to factor and then I've got reactive values and use the data empty cars one the reactive values object is empty this is done so that whenever we are making changes to empty cars one it's reflected throughout then we have got the render plot this is just to plot the box plot and then we have this render table this is feeding or showing the uh, data on the left hand side which is the original empty cars data set and then we have another render table this is showing the updated data set using empty object then we have got the observe function we are using brushed points, empty dollar data. We are saying brush equals, we are trying to fetch the rows corresponding to the data under the brush. We are saying input dollar brush ID plot underscore brush underscore. All rows equals true because we want to have that selected underscore column so that we get the false and true. And then what I'm doing is we have got all the false and trues. We don't want the true 
or the rows which were under the brush we only want the rows which had the status as false so i'm saying empty dollar data equals update that data subset here df df dollar selected underscore equals false so whatever rows are returned out of that i'm only having the one having the status as false and that's how i am removing the data points which are selected by the 